Hey guys, so if the news about a new Star Wars movie series written by the writers of Game of Thrones wasn't enough for one day, we also just got confirmation from Disney CEO Bob Iger that the new streaming service Disney is creating, which is kind of like their version of Netflix, will be hosting not just one, but several new Star Wars shows on there for streaming. Here's what Bob Iger had to say about it. We're developing not just one, but a few Star Wars series specifically for the Disney Direct-to-Consumer app. We've mentioned that, and we are close to being able to reveal at least one of the entities that is developing that for us. Because the deal isn't completely closed, we can't be specific about that. I think you'll find the level of talent on the television front will be rather significant as well. So I think, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was just a couple months ago where I made that video when Disney finally publicly announced a live-action Star Wars TV show coming to their streaming service. Well, now these will be on top of that, and in respect to their launch, they've actually already pulled many Marvel features from their rivals on Netflix, in anticipation for this new launch. It's not mentioned yet if this second and you know, so on TV series will be live action like the first one they announced, but I guess it's not too far from now until we know more about it, including the team working on the project, of course. The as yet untitled Disney digital platform that will rival Netflix will target families and be released in late 2019. So it's still a ways away. So it seems like the future of Star Wars is very stretchy. How can you do this? Super expandable. They're going in all different avenues. I think we have like 10 Star Wars movies lined up over the next four or five years. I think it is. We've got Obi-Wan, Boba Fett, Han Solo coming out, Episode 9, a new trilogy with Ryan Johnson. That's three right there. And then another trilogy, I assume, with these guys who are making the Game of Thrones. So I know some comments down below in the videos are always saying how Disney is milking it, and I absolutely agree, but I mean, can we really complain? The movie or movies that I'm looking forward to the most is that Obi-Wan spin-off. I don't really think it can get cooler than that. I mean, unless they make like a Palpatine spin-off or perhaps Luke between episode six and seven. That would be sweet as well. And I just hope that they listen to us fans by hiring Ewan McGregor, which I'm very hopeful for. I'll continue to update all you guys as soon as these new pieces pop up and you know we can all discuss them down below in the comments. So do you think this new show, the second one that they're announcing and the ones following it, will cover something from the Clone Wars, carrying on where they left off before? Could the live action show cover parts of Coruscant's dark underground as George Lucas was trying to make that very show when he was in charge? Covering young Boba Fett and even more, who knows? I don't really know what to expect, but I'm excited to go through this journey with you all together. Have an awesome day, everyone, wherever you're watching this in the galaxy. I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you always.